Hello! And welcome to an extraordinarily sunny Manchester for once. This is the first and hopefully a series of videos about the Pi Camera Python library. I'm the author, Dave Jones, and today we'll be covering simply getting started with the Raspberry Pi's camera module. So first things first, how do we install the camera module? Here's your typical Raspberry Pi, in this case it's a Raspberry Pi 2B. And this is a V1 camera module. It doesn't matter that it's a V1 if you've got a V2. Same instructions apply, no problem. So, firstly, how do we install this in Raspberry Pi? Well, let's flick over to a close-up. This here is the camera port, sandwiched between the HDMI port and the composite video port. <coughs> it's got a little collar on it which you want to lift up fairly carefully. Don't worry if that collar comes off. It will pop back on, but try and be a little more careful in future. Take the camera module and make sure that the non-conductive, in this case blue side, when it goes into the connector, faces the Ethernet port here. Then we push down the collar, and that's installed. The way you can be reasonably sure that you've got a good connection is I should be able to pick up the Pi quite happily by that cable without it falling out. And if we look at the back, yeah, the camera will refocus on that, you can see that the conductors are reasonably even above the socket. There's not one end that's higher than the other or anything like that. So that's installing the camera on a standard model Pi. But recently, the Pi Zero has come along and it's grown a camera connector. Well, even more recently, it's grown Wi-Fi as well, but the previous growth before that was a, a new camera connector. This one is slightly smaller than the camera connector on a typical Raspberry Pi, so it needs an adapter cable, like this. This is one I got from Pi Moroni. I'll stick a link to that in the video description. Let's see about installing one of these on a Pi Zero. So... <coughs> Let's pop that out of there. You'll find on the back of the camera module you've got another collar connector, so we can pop the standard cable off there. Take our adapter cable. We'll pop that in with the non-conductive side facing away from the lens. So pop that collar back down there. And that's a reasonably good connection. Now we've got... Well, I've got a slight difficulty here because I've got this inside a case, but we'll see what we can do. This connector is even more delicate than the one on the Pi usually, so you want to be careful with this. In this case, we want the non-conductive side facing upwards. And there we go, that's reasonably well installed as well. I can't pull that out easily. I can quite happily hang the Pi off that cable, no problem. Now, when you're using the camera, do bear in mind that the Pi itself is reasonably robust. You can <coughs> hold it pretty much however you like. The camera module is static sensitive. Do try not to touch the back of it whenever you're holding it. Try and hold it at the sides. When you're using it with the Pi, try not to set the camera module on anything conductive. In particular, try and avoid the pins on the Pi itself. Some of these pins, these couple at the top here, give out 5 volts permanently. You really don't want the camera module touching those. That's a surefire way to a dead camera module, of which I have a, a large collection from Pi Academy. So let's see about using the camera module in true Blue Peter fashion. <coughs> Here's one I made earlier. So once you've started up your Pi for the first time after installing the camera module, 
you want to go to Preferences and Raspberry Pi Configuration. Under the Interfaces tab, you'll find the Camera option. You want to change that from Disabled to Enabled. It'll be disabled by default. When you do that for the first time and click OK, you'll be prompted to reboot. You need to reboot, it won't work without doing this. But bear in mind, this is one-time setup. You don't need to do this every time you install the camera. You don't need to do it every time you use the camera. However, you will need to do it again if you reflash your SD card. That is, if you reinstall the whole operating system. So this is one-time setup at the operating system level. I'm not prompted here because I've already un enabled my camera previously. Now we want to test that our camera module works. For that, we're not going to use the Pi Camera Library. It's far quicker and simpler to use the Raspberry Still command line application. So fire up a terminal, type Raspberry Still dash O for output file name. I'll use test.jpg. When we run this, we should see a preview from the camera for about five seconds, and then it'll take a picture. So off we go, there's a, there's a picture of my soldering iron in my hand. And hello! There we go, there's a capture of the picture. Let's fire up the file browser, so we can see what we took. Lots of files on this point. Let's look at test JPEG, and there we go. There's a wonderful picture of my soldering iron in my hand. So we can be reasonably sure the camera's all installed correctly, it's all functioning happily. That's all good. So, that concludes our quick tour of installing and getting started with the Raspberry Pi camera module. Next time, hopefully, we'll do something a little more interesting involving some actual code and hopefully the Pi camera library itself. Thanks for watching.